Consumer Reports keeps us in the know about new gadgets. One that's becoming very popular is the air fryer. They claim to cook your foods to a crackly crunch without the fat. Consumer Reports just checked them out. Jillian Pacella makes chicken nuggets and french fries for her kids four times a week. And thanks to her air fryer, she's not giving them fried food. It does not require a lot of um, oil to cook the food. Here, take it. And we're looking for ways to make things that the kids like to eat healthier. The kids love it. An air fryer works by circulating hot air around food that's suspended in a basket. It's essentially like a countertop convection oven. Many recipes call for foods to be tossed with a bit of oil rather than being fully immersed when you use a traditional fryer. Consumer Reports tested seven appliances, and although they appear similar from the outside, Consumer Reports found some real differences. One big difference you'll see is basket size. Some are so small they require you to cook food in batches, and that's not as good when you're cooking for the whole family. This new way for $140 is the largest one tested with a 5.8 quart capacity. It has easy to use controls, but the new wave is a little noisy, comparable to a microwave. Consumer Reports calls this Farberware model a best buy. It costs $70 and is one of the quietest they tested. The controls are fairly easy to use and see. It holds 3.2 quarts. But note that the nooks and crannies in the food basket make it a little tough to clean. The fryer from Black & Decker has temperature settings printed so tiny they're difficult to read. And the small basket holds just two quarts. Fine if you're not cooking very much, but you'll have to do multiple batches if the kids bring their friends for nuggets. All right, Consumer Reports points out that since this is a little convection oven, those air fryers can also be used for cooking meats and even doing some baking.